Today we're making something spicy and sweet. This is ginger honey syrup. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a really easy ingredient that can transform your cocktail. It's a ginger and honey syrup. It's fantastic in classics like the penicillin. It's amazing to make things like your own ginger ale just by mixing it with soda. And it's a really great way to spice up whiskey sours. The only things that you're gonna need for this are fresh ginger, some honey, hot water, and a blender. The recipe couldn't be easier, and the outcome is a super spicy, really flavorful syrup. So let's dive straight into the video and make the syrup. So the first step for this syrup is you wanna cut up some fresh ginger. I don't think there's any need to peel it. I think it's quite nice. It gives you a little bit more depth and a little bit more spice if you leave the skin on. We're gonna cut this quite small. It's gonna make it easier to blend, and we're gonna get as much flavor out of it as quickly as possible. So we're gonna start chopping it up into small pieces. So now that you've got your ginger chopped, about this kind of size should do. You want to take all of it and just chuck it into your blender. And then to make this recipe really easy, we're just going to use equal parts. So we've got about 75 grams of ginger here. We're going to add 75 grams of honey and 75 grams of boiling water. It's important to do this by weight and not by volume because they all have very different densities and if you use volume, it's going to throw everything out. So next up, we're going to add 75 grams of honey. You can use whatever honey you want for this. It doesn't need to be the most expensive, most exciting honey, but use something reasonably good. If you do want to keep it vegan, you can also use agave nectar if you want, and it will have a similar kind of flavor. Finally, we're going to add 75 grams of boiling water. And that's our recipe. We're going to close this up and give it a blend. So now all we're going to do is blend this up until it's reasonably smooth. You don't need to worry too much. We're going to strain it later, but you want to get as much flavor out of that ginger as possible. So the last step is we're gonna filter this. Now that we've got it all blended up, that ginger's broken down, that flavor's come out, everything's mixed in nicely and all the honey's dissolved. We're gonna pour it through a fine mesh strainer with a little bit of muslin cloth in it. This process is gonna take a while, so I'm not gonna show you all of it, but what you can do is every time you pour a bit in, discard the big clumps that are gonna stop the liquid coming through and pour again. You do wanna keep those clumps till the end though, because what we're gonna do once we've strained all the liquid is take them, put them in the cheesecloth and squeeze them through just to get any of that last ginger juice out. So now that we've made our syrup, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious drink of it. This is a nice little take on a dark and stormy that's packed full of flavor and has tons of spice from that ginger. So we're gonna start off with 20 milliliters of our ginger and honey syrup. Then we're gonna just juice about half a lime Next up, add your rum of choice. I'm gonna use Appleton's 12 year rare blend. But any nice aged rum's gonna work really well in this drink. Next up, we're gonna get some ice in this glass. And finally, to give it a little bit of fizz, we're gonna to top it up with soda. You're gonna to wanna to give this a quick stir to make sure all of those ingredients are mixed together nicely. And then if you want, you can garnish that with a wheel of lime. And there you go, a really simple, packed full of flavor, dark and stormy. There's so much more depth than using most kind of commercial ginger beers or ginger ales. The honey adds some nice floral notes to it. So loads of spice and kind of earthiness from that ginger. It's really well balanced. Um, it's just delicious. I really recommend if you're just gonna have a handful of syrup sat around in your fridge, this is definitely one to have. It's got so many different uses and it's a great way to jazz up tons of classic cocktails. Tune in next week and I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect classic cocktail for this drink. It's called the penicillin. So you've got a week to make a batch of this ready for that recipe. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, feel free to let me know in the comments what drink you'd like to see me make next. If you did like the video, feel free to leave it a like and hit subscribe if you wanna see more cocktail content from me. You can also follow me on Instagram at today's underscore tipple where I post new drinks every single day. Cheers.